Anything like Camp Kirkwood always requires a lot of volunteer work and a lot of money. And right now we're in the middle of a campaign drive, approximately a million dollars, and we have already raised a, a, a good part of that. The capital campaign is very important to the future of Camp Kirkwood. Our program size has quadrupled in the last four years. This camp is, is over 60 years old. We want to make sure that the facilities will match the high quality of programming that we're providing. My name is Pate Sutherland. I was a camper here at Camp Kirkwood in 1958 when I was in the seventh grade. Camp Kirkwood was built by 75 churches and it was called Wilmington Presbytery. Ten years ago, the Presbytery was going to close the camp and we asked them not to and that's when we began our relationship with the Y. They leased the camp to us for a hundred years, for a hundred dollars a year, and the only requirement is that it remain a Christian camp and conference center. We just want to continue to be able to offer the Christian training here in the outdoor door ministry to our children and grandchildren. And of course, our children are 40 years old, but our grandchildren and, and have it to go on and on for generations. And so what we need to do now to make sure that kids of all ages can enjoy this great place for another 60 years is we got to make some major improvements. And that's what this capital campaign is about. It's for, it's for a lot of stuff that's not necessarily fun, but stuff that's necessary to maintain this camp. And we need to renovate the pool, to update the dining hall, provide more bathrooms, redo our entire septic system so that we can continue uh, to grow. Right now, the way our camp is, we struggle. So this is going to be the basis upon which we build our future around. My main goal with Kirkwood is to get as many people up here to see Kirkwood. It is hilly. We have the cliffs over there which fall off 40 or 50 feet. We have the beautiful lake. And it's just a, a special place, an opportunity for children who very seldom get off of their telephones to get outside and just enjoy nature. Kirkwood's outdoor education programs help support our area schools by bringing learning outside through field trips and overnight camps. We do ecology programs and leadership and team building activities that we do in our low ropes and high ropes course. We also host Boy Scout group and Girl Scout group activities and we provide scholarships for area foster care children and our military families. So one of the great ways that Kirkwood can serve our community is through our hurricane assistance and hurricane response. After Hurricane Floyd, Camp Kirkwood became home for eight families and area churches helped feed those families and help them find more permanent housing. In more recent storms, we've been blessed to partner with Four County Electric and Kirkwood's used as their base of operation and staging to go out and restore power to our communities. In the past couple of years, because of the major storms that we've had, hurricanes, uh, flooding has been a big issue. We have entered into this partnership to be able to use the facilities here at Camp Kirkwood, and it's been a really good partnership. In turn, we've been able to help uh, harden their electrical system here so that the power will stay up during storms. We sponsored one of their cabins here. I also, I think we're gonna have a, a crew come in and build an up and over wall. One of the camp songs we learned many years ago was a song called Pass It On. And I can't help but think that how important it is, the last verse and the, the, the refrain is, that's how it is with God's love. Once you've experienced it, you want to sing, it's fresh like spring, you want to pass it on. And so please join us and others as we pass it on so many, many others can come out here and sing, be still, and pause and reflect and worship and relax and pray.